Well, hello, my name is LaDonna Hackey uh, Johnson. Hackey Johnson. Uh, I got married uh, later on, but this is my, my name sign. And I was a teacher here from 91 to 2010. And that's when the School for the Deaf uh, came to a close, or discontinued the educational component. Uh, let me, uh, I have so many things to share, so many stories. But uh, let me start with my first couple of years that I was here. Kim uh, tell, permits me to tell more about some of the other things, that's fine too. But uh, in the beginning I taught fifth grade, and uh, I want to say I had five boys and one girl in our class, fifth grade class, Amy Adams, who was a girl, and the rest of the boys, Jesse Bork, Tucker, Tucker uh, Mike, Luke, Manning, uh, Brian Burr. Uh, John Schmidt. So, uh, now two of them, three of them. At that time, three of them were being mainstream. Uh, so I would teach them reading. Uh, you know, three boys, you know, four boys. And so I taught the reading to the four boys and uh, they would read stories. Uh, all about the belly goats and, you know, we talked about how they, uh, fought for their herds or tried to defend their herds. And the boys were fascinated with the story. And then after that, we did some more lesson plans. And then uh, we tried to role play and let the boys play uh, in different roles like this. So Luke Manning and uh, Jesse Borg acted like uh, yeah. the male goats fighting for the herd. And so we did this role play. Back and forth, and it just so happened that Jesse Ford moved out of the way, and Luke Manning happened to ran, run right into a desk that had a metal piece to it. And the way he hit it, it was so loud that uh, everyone thought, "Oh no, is he okay?" And he was laughing and laughing, and he thought it was the funniest thing. And I thought for sure I was going to get in trouble. This is going to be my fault that a kid got hurt in my class. But the kids had a wonderful time, and so. Uh, it was the first scare for me, but that was my first memory of that, uh, that class, those boys in that class. Um, the next year, I taught third grade, and I had three kids. Uh, let's see, uh, Tanya, March, and Joe Bartunic, and Sadie Redbear. So I taught those three. Three of them had to read some books that they brought either from home or from the dorm so that they could turn out points. And Tanya was very loyal. She was a hardworking student. She loved to read books. And so she would complain that Joe and Sadie didn't seem to be reading near as much. And so that made her a little bit upset. So I thought, okay, okay. Well, I can think of some incentives. Okay, kids, well, let's talk and agree about how many books we think we can read between the three of us. <laughs> so that by the end of, you know, the, the month, I think it was either March or April or something like that, we would agree that all, as a group, we would read this many books. And the incentive was that they would have the, a piece of pie with whipped cream. They could throw them at me, and uh, so they were thought, "Well, this is great. We'd love to throw a pie at the teacher." And so the first kid, uh, you know, she by far read all the books that she needed to. <laughs> but the other two kind of struggled. They weren't crazy about reading, but through a lot of uh, effort, they met the goal. And they only had one day left to meet the total goal, and they were so happy about it throwing a pie in my face. So the next morning came. I said, well, it's not going to happen just yet. we got to wait till afternoon so that at the end of the day, I can go home and wash up. So they couldn't wait. They were just waiting and waited and waited. And by the time that afternoon came, I pulled out the uh, uh, pie tins and filled them with shaving cream or cream. <coughs> we put something down on the floor to make sure that you know, nothing was going to get too messy. 
took my glasses off, and they sure enough put uh, all these uh, pies with whipped cream in my face. And they were just so, they had so much fun. The teacher came by, another teacher, and said, what is going on in this classroom? And so we told them that, well, this was an incentive, and since they you know, all met their benchmarks, they were able to do this. <coughs> so that was a good memory, uh, my first two years. And there are many more things I can tell you, but I think that's good for that.